This video will provide an overview of the Task Manager Advanced Excel template. You can find this specific template on inzara.blogspot.com and you can find a link in the Premium Solutions section on the right sidebar of the blog. I will give a quick overview of the template and how it works in this video. And this page has a lot more information about the specific product and how to use it. And there are lots of screenshots available also. This template is designed to help project managers who are managing multiple tasks and multiple team members at the same time. And this template can help in assigning or creating those tasks, assigning it to specific people, and also tracking the status of the specific tasks. This template can also be used by individuals who just want, want to manage their own personal tasks. Let me go into the template and give you a quick demo. What we're looking at right now is the template filled with some sample data. When you download the template, your template will be empty so that you can enter your own information. In this file, I have some sample data so that it's easier to demonstrate. There are five sheets in this report. The first one is the settings, where you would enter the date when you want this whole task management to begin. And there are some specific status values that are already in the template, but you can easily change them to whatever status values you would like. And you would also set whether a specific status value should be considered as a pending status or not. There are some preset colors available for you to choose, but you cannot modify the colors. There are up to 25 people you can assign the tasks to. One task occurrence can be assigned to only one person, but you can have up to 25 people totally in this template that you can assign to. And there's also some help information available about the different kinds of frequency types that are available in this template. Let me just go quickly into the create task section. This is where tasks will be created. And I already have about 50 or so tasks created here. And you can see that we have a task ID for each task, task name, there will be a start date and an end date. And you can choose the frequency type among the seven options. It could be a one-time task or it could be every nth day, it could be daily, weekly, or monthly. It could also be, you know, for example, third Saturday of a month, or it could be the last Sunday of a month. So these are all possible options of frequency types. There are a few columns available here for you to have any information that you would like to have. And then we have Sunday to Saturday fields where you can actually customize which weekdays you want the tasks to be occurring and you can fully control that. There is also a column called N and this is used, for example, in a weekly task. And if you want this task to only appear once every three weeks, you will put three in the end column and that will let the template know that I want this weekly task to appear only every three weeks. And with these fields, you have a lot of control over how often a specific task has to reoccur and also whether specific weekdays are allowed or not. The last column you have is the active column. And this is where you would tell the template that this task is active. If you don't want the task anymore, you can just delete the Y and then the task becomes inactive and will not be used further in this template. And totally you have up to 100 active tasks at a time. So if you could have, let's say 105 tasks in this table, but the first 100 active ones will be included in this template for further calculations. There is a mini calendar available on the top right which is just for reference so that when you are choosing the dates for start and end date, you have something that is readily available that you can compare with and you can change the month and year on this and then that calendar would update for you. The next sheet is the update tasks. This is the sheet where you actually will update your specific tasks. For example, if I have 49 as a task ID and then I will have the task name appear automatically and then I can choose the due dates and the due date is automatically filtered. So for example, 
there is only one possible due date for this task. And so that is the only one that's available. And you can choose that and then you can put the status of that specific task and you can also assign it to somebody. You can set the priority. If the task is already completed, you can put a completed date on it. And there are also a couple of custom columns that you can use to store any other information you would like to have. And the at the top, we have a quick lookup because if you don't remember, didn't remember your task ID, you can just go in here and then choose the specific task name and then your task ID will appear here. And the other details that you entered in the previous sheet, they will be easily and readily available here for you to refer to. And the next sheet is the dashboard where you can actually view all the pending occurrences that um, as of now. So for example, today's date is 11th October and I have about 44 pending task occurrences. 25 of them will be listed and it says 19 more. So totally I have 44 pending task occurrences. And the second thing that the dashboard shows is a calendar view. So I get to choose, for example, I've chosen 1st October 2014, and it tells me that week, what are the different tasks, and then it color codes it based on status, the green for completed, blue for skipped. So with a quick view of my week, I can clearly say which tasks that are not complete so that I can take actions based on that. The third section of the dashboard provides summary statistics. So for a specific um, date range, and you can change the date range here. And for a specific date range, it'll tell you the total number of task occurrences and the status breakdown in a table and also in a chart. And then when you scroll down, you will see the status breakdown by month. So from October 2014 to June 2015, what are the number of status, number of task occurrences in each status? The last chart provides similar information, but it gives you by who the task occurrence was assigned to. And you can see that I have four different people here and I will see the data about the statuses of task occurrences that are assigned to those specific people. And this is what the dashboard provides. The last sheet we have is the report sheet. And the report sheet is basically raw data where you have all the task occurrences and the status of all of them. So for example here, if I only want to know that pending task occurrences and I can choose true and it gives me only the tasks that are pending and then I can also filter based on a specific date or a month and then it gives me only the task occurrences that are due for that month. And I can see the status, I can see the priority that I've entered. I can also assign, see who it was assigned to. And this data comes from what we entered here in the update tasks and what we entered in the create task. So the report gives you a one place, you can see all the task occurrences and you can kind of filter on them. So it's convenient to get more details about specific task occurrences. So these are the five sheets that are available in this template. And to quickly recap, the, the template is designed so that you can create different kinds of recurring tasks very easily and very quickly. And then you can go into the update tasks and update the status of each of those task occurrence. And you can add other information while you're there. And then you can quickly or instantly go to the dashboard to see my current week, what are my tasks, what are the tasks that are pending, who it's assigned to. And you can also see some summary statistics if you want reporting on how well we are working on a task, how well we are performing our tasks. And finally, the report sheet gives you a raw data which you can filter and get more details on. So this template is available on inzara.blogspot.com and you can download this template from the specific blog post. And if there are any questions, please leave a comment in this blog post and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching the video.